Hi everyone, happy 4th of July. I hope that you're having a wonderful time with your family, um, with your friends, or whoever you're meant to have um, a good time with. My name is Craig and I'm with the Rapids Parish Library and I am here to read you a couple of books about our nation and about the birth of our nation. And the first one that I'm going to read is Happy Birthday America. And it is by Mary Hope Osborne and it was illustrated by Peter Calanoto. Here's the title page, wonderful illustration for the copyright. And on the 4th of July, mom, dad, Katie, grandpa, grandma, Aunt Beth, baby Jess, our dog Bud and I go to Memorial Park. We march around the, around the ball field in the pet parade. I play a kazoo. Katie waves red, white, and blue streamers. Bud touches noses with a pig on a leash. From noon till two, I sell popcorn and pizza at the Pee Wee football booth. 50 cents a bag, hot, 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 a dollar a slice. Grandma sells raffle tickets for the American Legion Squadron 242. A dollar a chance to win a hand-knit colonial flag. Grandpa wears his old fishing cap. He sits in his wheelchair while on the bandstand, Katie tap dances the hornpipe boogie in a sailor suit with Miss Cindy's school of dance. Aunt Beth gets so excited, she dances too. I go with Grandpa and Dad to see the antique cars. We pitch pennies at the Kiwanis booth. I win a blue bunny and give it to Jess. Under a tree, high school kids paint Katie's face with stars. Katie and I have a sword fight with balloons. You can see them right there with their balloons. Firemen from five different towns fight water battles before the sun goes down. Mom and I bake barbecue chicken cooked on big racks by the Knights of Columbus. We have ice cream and waffles, then spread out our blankets for the concert under the stars. Jess crawls away, but I bring him back. Katie and I pile on Dad in the dark. Bud barks. Settle down, everyone, says Mom. The band's about to play. The conductor wears a red bow tie and waves a baton. During Yankee Doodle, his music blows away, but he waves on. Everyone claps to the beat of stars and stripes forever. A girl plays a solo on the piccolo. Dad uses my head for a drum. Then a Cub Scout rings a bell 13 times in honor of the first 13 colonies. A girl steps out in a big green robe and holds up a sparkler. She's Lady Liberty. Then Mr. Sabatini reads from the Declaration of Independence. Then we sing the Star Spangled Banner. And when we get to the home of the brave, the first fireworks go off. They light the sky, a red and blue umbrella. Bud barks, Jess cries. There they go. Ooh, ah, wow. Like a palm tree, like tadpoles, like a weeping willow. Look how pretty, Jess says Grandpa, his first words all day. A moment of silence, then huge bursts of light, one on top of the other, and a million pieces of gold rain down on the trees near the flag that is still there. It's over now, that's it. We pack up to leave and walk back to the parking lot with the crowd. Dad hums Yankee Doodle and he gets out his keys. Katie catches a lightning bug, but lets it go. Fly home, Sparky, she says, to bed. Jess sleeps all the way back. So does Grandpa with Bud on his lap. I look up at the sky and whisper, Happy birthday, America. Happy Fourth of July. Then I blow out the stars as if they were candles on a giant birthday cake. And this is telling some information about the book. 
um, explaining about July 4th, 1776, the day that the Declaration of Independence was signed. And that's Happy Birthday, America by Mary Pope Osborne. We have another book here for you as well, and that is called Apple Pie, 4th of July. And this book is by Miss Janet S. Wong, and the pictures are by Mag Margaret Chodos Irvine. So apple pie, 4th of July, seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days a year, and 365 laps, or in 365 in a leap year, our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the store. Even on New Year's Day, even today, 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs and chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein? Chinese food on the 4th of July? No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, father says, and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by noon and customers come for soda and potato chips one o'clock and they buy ice cream two o'clock the egg rolls are going hard three o'clock ice and matches four o'clock and the noodles feel like shoelaces no one wants chinese food on the fourth of july i say mother piles noodles on my plate my parents do not understand all american things they were not born here even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. So I straighten the milk and the videos and samples and sample a few new candy bars until five o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them no one, no one came so we ate it up ourselves. But they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the singing door, through the swinging door, holding a tray of chicken chow mein. And father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork. And three more people get in line. 11 more at six o'clock, nine at seven, 12 by eight. More and more and more until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rotten to our rooftop chairs, way up high, beyond the crowd, where we sit and watch the fireworks show and eat our apple pie. And then that's one last page for the copyright page. And that was Apple Pie 4th of July. We also have a couple of other books here for you. We're not gonna read them today, but we do have Independence Cake, and we do have the one and only Declaration of Independence. And we have many others as well. So if you would like to get um, some books about the 4th of July, just ask your, um, your friendly neighborhood librarian. I'm sure that they would love to help. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day and a happy 4th of July.